I'm Jesse, I'm 22 and I'm from Lowestoft. Jesse, tell me about living in Lowestoft. Living in Lowestoft, there's not really a lot to do for young people and the nearest town is Great Yarmouth, which is 10 miles away and then your nearest city is 30 miles away, which is Norwich. And you have to travel to get to either of them, which is a bit hard for a young person. How did you become uh, involved with Access Community Trust? I become involved with Access because I become homeless and I needed somewhere to live and then Access gave, like, gave me the opportunity to move into one of their places and I jumped at the opportunity. Tell me about what experiences you have had with mental health issues and the services you've received. For me, it was kind of long because you had to sit there, make a phone call to refer yourself, you wait for a letter to come through and then I had to travel to Yarmouth, which is again 10 miles away, and then from there that was be there for 20 minutes, come home, and then wait another week or so for another appointment, which actually was in Lowestoft, which was easier. How would developing an app help you in relation to mental health support? Uh, for me, that that'll make it a lot easier because that'll cut out the travel time for me to have to travel to Yarmouth to see someone about so I can do it all over the phone and they can then refer me or whatever to or whatever workshop or whatever I need to go to to help with all that. And how do you see the app being developed for use in the future? For use in the future, that'll help mental health people develop all their CVs, get, get in touch with um, employers and then they can talk to them on a basis through that and then work out, um, I like this person actually, I might meet up with them at this date and go from there.